This joke LP was made in response to and for the ever-loving growing number of idiots who say that I am immoral or I should be ashamed of myself for helping Sam make a joke video. And is a big fuck you in the face of political correctness. If you don't like this or say it, I am immoral and I should be ashamed of any of the mature jokes that are presented in this LP, please look forward to me mocking the ever-loving shit of you in public. Enjoy the videos. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back for more Link to the Past. I'm sorry, a right to the past. Last time we got the uh, pendant of courage. This time, well, we're gonna be heading out to the um lake. But first, I actually do want to show something off that's over here. I'm gonna take out this archer. Thank you. Thank you very much. This right here. If, by some weird reason, you don't know where to go, you can talk to this insane cultist right here. And you can pay him a little bit to um, basically guide you in which way you need to go, tell you what you need to do. It is indeed a poor man who is not interested in his future. I'll be waiting for your return. Yeah, I'm not going to be actually using your services, but I figured I'd evidently at least show it off. And cook a crab while we're here. Even though we don't have the capability of doing that. Also keep that black stone in mind. Cause that black stone is a nigger! Ha! <laughs> nigger stones! But ignore those KKK stones. Those white stones are members of the Ku Klux Klan. Those black stones are niggers. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what box do we put the um, blue soldiers in? Huh. That makes me ask a question now, actually. Sometimes the clipping the gla <laughs> glass grass will you yield you some stuff. I'm trying to get here. Die! Thank you. I can actually show it off. Thank you. That'd be great. But I'm not getting very lucky in that regard. Come on. Come on. I know you want to give me stuff. I know you want to give me stuff. You're nice and friendly grass. Come on. Ah, there we go. One rupee. Yippee. I love plushies. I'm more generous. So much for that. Jeez. You look... Oh, yeah, that. When you're clipping stuff, sometimes you'll get mines. Yeah. I shouldn't have to tell you to stay the hell away from those. Just use your common sense. Okay, okay. Now that I'm done showing stuff, there's the Pegasus boots that I got last time. Go away, go away, Octorok. Ugh. Freaking hate you. Never thought I'd, hit, I'd be hitting an Octorok so much. Alright, come on, Krabby. Come on, Krabby. Krabby. That's lame. Also, I'm gonna get a recovery off of that. Oh, well. Go and... No. I think I should be... Uh, it is advisable that you come here with a bottle. So we take an um, obscene amount of damage like I do, we can recover up from that. We can recover from that with that potion, which um, 
I do recommend having before coming here. Right. You and you blow up. At least I did it from a distance. That's something. Oh, okay, I'll see. Trying to spin attack you, but that works. Guess I dived into that. The Octa Rocks, like, um, a terrorist plane in uh, back in 9 11. <laughs> yep, the offense just keep co just yep, the offensive jokes just keep coming. Expect many more of that in the future, <laughs> as I'm sure there'll be plenty. I can promise you that. Okay, Krabby, there you go. Now this is what you this is what you want to use a bomb for. Boom! Now you need to come in this side because you got the ice dildo. A dildo in a cave. <laughs> Who'd have thought? <laughs> Go away! I don't want you crabs. I don't want to hang on to crabs. Oh, on the way back, I came across a bee. Uh, if you have the bug net, you can catch one and release them near enemies and they'll attack for you. But unlucky as I am, I stumbled upon one without said bug net. Yeah, I really should have headed. Uh, I really should have been down to the villagers. Got up a voice crack. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna push this over here. Push that. Push that there. Get more bombs. That. That's always helpful. I wanted to get that treasure chest first because of the bombs. Now I can do this proper. This place only serves one purpose. Let's pull this switch. No, you, it's a bomb trap. Yep. Doing my turn to purposely choosing the wrong switch. Yeah, that's what the antivirus do during your magic as well as your virginity. <laughs> that's not something you want to lose to an antivirus. <laughs> because antivirus. Are the masters of rape? <laughs> also, this is, uh, that's actually all I wanted to go down there for. I will be I will be getting all the hard containers that I am aware of during this playthrough. You guys having more life on you? <laughs> ah! Uh, okay. The more life you have on you, the better. Okay. Over here. Yes. Oh. I did not mean to travel back to the screen. Alright, and with that, we are in the village. Awesome. Okay, how unlucky can a dude get? That's a slam. I can't freaking catch him. Oh well. Let's get our sixth education here from this, um... Library, and hey! A rape manual! No! It is the Book of Medora. 
<laughs> I just have too much fun, I'm so racist. Oh, speaking of stuff we can do here, actually, there is one thing we can do here. Talk to this guy. Yeah, rape. I'm not quarreling with my younger brother. I steal the door to his room. Oh, with the power of my jizz, I'm gonna break open the door. So the door is open again. Okay, okay, maybe I should make it with my brother. Yeah, you totally should. Cause you gotta fear the power of the jizz. Hey, rape! <laughs> My oldest one's room is just only right No, not really. <laughs> You'd be surprised what the power of jizz will do for you. <laughs> if it's in seconds, we get something good. A pickup artist lecture? I don't know, maybe. Run, run, first run. I'm in seconds. Awesome. Awesome, you're awesome. A really easy mini game, especially if you have the um, Pegasus boots. My knowledge is. Well, actually, it kind of is sort of possible. I'm glad I go that way. It is sort of possible to do without the um, Pegasus boots, but it's easier to do it with the Pegasus boots, which is. Well, I guess my, th try my thought process was. It'd make more sense to do it this way because you know I'm kind of have to be here anyways. Alright, what do you got? Oh, my son really liked to play the rape, but he went to look for the rape power and has not returned. I wonder where he is and what he's doing now. I'd be wor worried about who he's doing. <laughs> well, I saw her. Very nice young lady at the rape fall. Of wishing in the hills near the river. Rape, you should meet her. At least once, I'm sure you'll rape her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing here besides that dialogue. So, yeah, there's this guy who likes to play the flute who hasn't been here in a while. Okay, you catch her. her. Catch at the right time, which. I felt like doing you wouldn't prefer the other way. Yeti! Now, this isn't necessarily helpful. This is something I like to do. Gotcha! I can't believe you caught me with your speed. It must have been easy to kidnap Zelda. Sounds like it's a bad rape, though. Anyway, because you have such good feet, I have an idea. Run and have sex with many things. For example, the trees in the village have many some things in the branches. Well, let's try it, okay? Yeah, she's not just Bristol and Dixie. Get money! Also, you, you see two villagers kind of patrolling. Oh, we're gonna break into her house. And she watched as we do it. <laughs> yeah, these houses aren't really all that interesting. They're just generic little areas that you can go into. But look what happens when a um, patrolling villager sees you. Yeah. Runs into her house and calls a soldier. And now the door is locked off. You can't go inside. Which, um... Doesn't really matter. But... Yeah. That does happen. Oh, rape the rumors say you kidnapped the princess, but I still trust you. Yes, because we all know rape is something you can trust. <laughs> Some really funny scenarios with this name. You, sir, have been going through life without going... Ah, even going through life without one of my hold anything bottles? 
I'll step right up and you're make your life complete. Okay, yeah, cause 100 rupees is such a low price. Good boy, thanks a lot. Now hold it above your head for the whole world to see. Okay, it's good for business. Yeah, asked us to do something. We do anyways with a new item. Sure. Okay, I believe there's... No, not actually. Um, get on my way, please. Thank you. I believe it's this house. Yes, it is indeed this house. Okay. This little kid is, uh, sick, and, yeah, he's got a call from what is rumored to be the evil arrows coming down from the mountain, and he's just gonna give us the net. By catching that, actually, just bug net. It's bugging me. <laughs> okay, there is a back entrance to this place. Using, lifting that will unearth a cocoon. Not necessarily unearth but reveal a cuckoo we get another bottle right here okay, okay, okay there is a little something fail to show off like I just did because a cuckoo uh... I'm just gonna throw you right here I don't really think this can activate indoors, but I'm just gonna try it anyways. We keep wailing that living crap out of the out of the cocoon. It doesn't happen indoors. Also, the cuckoo stopped clucking for some reason. Anyway, what I was trying to show was one of these cuckoos. I'm gonna toss it in that corner right over there. Mm, maybe not that corner. Here. Excuse me, here. Whale living crap out of a cuckoo. If you do, any time now. Any time now. That happens. A ton of cuckoos come charging after you. I have seen a walkthrough. I say walk through very loosely here. It's not really a walk through. More so a uh, cheat site. Saying that you have to go to another area to get the cuckoos to leave you alone. No. They're quick to forgive. As in, they go away after like four or five seconds. So yeah, you don't necessarily have to go to another area to get him to leave you alone, you just have to wait out that four or five seconds. Yeah, there is actually one place that I do want to go to before, um, heading off to the next, um, dungeon, which is the Desert Palace. Ooh, that's all slow down. And that slow down is a real boner killer. <laughs> if you go here, you can buy various potions. I'm just gonna take the medicine of life. Yeah, medicine of life, not a red potion, but the medicine of life. Blue, blue potion recovers both. Green is the Ma magic potion, but yeah, that's kind of the gist of it. 
Or should I say, it's kind of the jizz of it. You know I'm Dr. Balt. Except what's another jizz? <laughs> jizz is full of the jizz. Okay, yeah, we're right where we need to be. And that, that. Right around here. You can see the location of the other two pennies as well as the Master Sword. I'd say we're good to go. Now, one of these stones, uh, that one over there. Can't lift stones yet, but what I can do is talk to Old Man Pedophile over here. He doesn't say anything. Pay no attention to the average middle-aged pedophile sitting near the sign. Leave him alone! We're gonna rape him by selling his sign! Why did you take my sign? It's saying it's pl it says plenty of stays. Leave me alone, sheesh! And guess what? With someone or something following you, you can't enter a cave! Yeah, I wanted to take the moment to actually show that. Not only can you, um, interact with Old Man Pedophile by taking his sign, but you can't enter certain areas with something following you. And this area just how it happens to be a fairy fountain. Link, why can't you get on the fairy? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, strange. Don't care. <laughs> okay, canonically, you want to avoid all these um, mines I've shown you before. And there's that cave right over here. Which I believe should hold a um, piece of heart. You can talk to that guy over there. But I'm more interested in this bumble wall. And sure enough, that's a piece of heart. Alright. So, this area has pretty much served its only purpose. You can screw yourself, you really don't have anything for me. Well, you don't have anything that I would want anyways. So, woo! Go on, Gohan. And... What? How do you have to walk up, walk up that ledge? That's totally unfair. We can't do that. What? I've never seen that. How do you have to walk up that? Let's take a rape manual and read it here. To open the way forward, make a wish here and it will be granted. I'm... Rape is wishing for rape. <laughs> Not a move that tiptoes aside. A tits without a shell. It's shell tits. <laughs> it's shell titties. Um. <laughs> uh... Green cock over there should agree with me. His name is Beemos, by the way. 
Uh, oh, whatever. Hey, Rocklots, how's it going? Yeah, Rocklops. I don't have any clever name for them. I'm taking this Rocklops. Again, going for the dungeon map just because I can, just because I want it. I have ruined this song for you all. You're welcome. There's a cannon fire nearby. This room is a trap. You gotta kill all enemies to escape. Not a difficult room to escape from. Yeah, there's nothing worse here. A little bit of a beginner's trap. But hey. Dash our way through here. Because we're just dashing like that. Also, just to piss you off, politically correct morons off. Rape is I! <laughs> yes! I'm gonna flash this name up as much as humanly possible. <laughs> Take that, politically correct fucktards. I don't care about your fee-fees. <laughs> Alright, a um, bunch of tentacles here. Um, as far as I know, you cannot slay demons in your way here before. Like, I just killed off all those tentacles and I opened the door and I did nothing about demons. I should show right there that you can't do anything about the emos. Like, okay, fine, I'm not gonna be fancy. I'm just gonna walk across. Yeah. Walk! How boring, man. You start to bore me with all this standard walking. I really don't wanna. I'm dashing! Screw you, game. I'm dashing anyways. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, mostly for the sake of the video. I'm gonna try to keep each episode roughly as close to a half hour as I possibly can. Normally, I would stick to like 15 to 25 minutes, but this is a special LP that I'm doing here. I'm gonna keep it as close to exactly half hour. Yes, a half hour of this poop. Half hour of all this diarrhea. It's not sand we're walking across, it's diarrhea. Wait, it's on the left side. Because we have a bug catching net, guess what we can do? Hey, little fairy, guess what? You're my sex slave. <laughs> If I die, you give me a blue job. <laughs> but seriously though, there is actually one thing that we need. <laughs> That's right over here actually. Excuse me, get in the door. Thank you. There's that. Now I mean hit that switch twice. There is this treasure chest that we need. The Power Glove! Package for Nintendo consoles! Heard that was not a very good accessory. Uh, but then again, it might be better than what James would have us believe. I mean, you're trying to show it off. He did have it awfully close to the... Um, television set, so maybe that might have been the case. But, we made it halfway through this dungeon. Next time, well... 
Link's sex adventure continues in the Desert Palace. See you guys then.